Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see the method of cleaning and draping a case for a vitro retina surgery and setting up of a VR trolley. The first thing is to make sure that the patient is lying comfortably straight on the OT table with arms resting inside the arm guard. Head must be supported by adequate sized headrest. It is especially important in the patients with neck problems like spondylosis. Comfortable positioning is important as the surgery process for the vitro retina surgery may last for approximate 2 or more hours, generally unlike the cataract surgery. The next thing is to make sure that the airway tubings are properly placed at the nostrils and during these covid times even the patients are wearing masks so after placing these airway tubings make sure the mask covers the nose and the mouth of the patient properly the patient is then greeted by the anesthetist and the surgeon and is well explained the whole procedure of the local or a general anesthesia as well the surgery to make patient little less anxious and more cooperative when the patient is under the drapes talking to the patient in advance helps out eases or her nervousness on the OT table. Always cross check the patient's initials and the eye to be operated before the anesthetist blocks the eye. This helps to remove the remote chances of the error of a wrong eye. Once the anesthetist blocks the eye, always cross check for the ocular movements and then the put povidine iodine eye drops before proceeding for the cleaning of the eye. The sterile cleaning kit is then opened up on the trolley with sterile sheet and the eye wash is given with 100 ml of sterile normal saline to clean the furnaces and then the povidine iodine eye drops are installed again. Following it, the eyelashes are cleaned using the bud dipped in iodine solution. The upper lid is then retracted using one bud and the eyelid margins are cleaned using the second bud. After cleaning the eyelids, the ocular and the periocular skin is cleaned with the 1% iodine solution soaked gauze pieces. Cleaning should start from the medial to the lateral aspect of the eye, starting from the eyelids and then moving out towards the periocular skin and then the forehead. And finally the periocular skin of the other eye. Same process is repeated for 5 gauze pieces. After cleaning with the last gauze piece, the iodine solution on the skin is left to dry on its own for its maximum effect. Once the iodine solution completely dries up, we proceed ahead for the placement of surrounding frame and the central stand, which should be at such a height and adjusted that the stand comes at the level of the ears of the patient. It helps in providing good hand support for the surgeon and also creates a gutter for the wastes. By this time the iodine solution almost completely dries up from the forehead and the ocular surface and the sterile folded drape is placed around the ocular surface taking it from the medial to the lateral side. The drape is unfolded carefully to make sure not to touch any the unsterile surrounding area of the patient. Sticking the medial side properly is very important as it prevents the fogging of the lenses during the surgery. Medial side can be augmented by the usage of tagadum drapes to help really good closure of the space around the medial canthus. Then the transparent drape is placed with broader end on the surgeon side by opening the upper lid carefully and placing it just above the inferior lid to make sure that all the eyelashes are well covered with the drape. The drape is then again pressed from medial to the lateral side of the eye to make sure that the medial side gets well stuck to the skin and prevents any fogging later on. 
the transparent tray is opened up carefully and spread over the first tray the central cut is then made in the palpebral portion to release the drape in palpebral area and the speculum is placed with the drape covering the eyelid margin so that all the eyelashes are well covered in case the eyelashes come out they can be rolled inside using a muscle hook so as to keep the surgical area clean of the eyelashes make sure that the cornea is kept well moistened using normal saline or a viscoelastic substance once the speculum is placed for draping a scleral buckle case we may do away without the outer frame and try to fold the transparent drape and tie it up with the use of artery forceps to make an adequate gutter around the head the rest of the draping is in a similar way as shown previously the lid sutures may be taken up as per the need of the surgeon preparation for the setting up of a vr trolley begins a day before when the instruments are cleaned and packed up and sent for sterilization one should be well aware of all these instruments packed up in the tray so that only a particular set of a particular gauze may be opened up on the day of the surgery the sterilization sticker inside the tray needs to be checked up instrument tray is opened up on the trolley with sterile sheet and should be adequately placed over the trolley for faster handling during the surgery all the connections and the infusion line are checked and machine should be primed up before the anesthetist blocks the eye of the patient the surgeon may now take over and go ahead with the surgery thank you